Hello you all, Sebastian Cuevas here to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to create proxies inside of Premiere Pro so that you can edit your red footage, your 6K, 5K, 4K files real time. So here, let's take a look real quick. So you can see this clip, I'm currently editing on a, a uh, MacBook Pro. It is maxed out, but unfortunately it's not strong enough to, to handle the, the 6K files which is why we have to create proxies. Here, let me show you guys real quick what it looks like without the proxies. <laughs> All right, <laughs> obviously it's not even moving. So needless to say, we need some proxies. So there's a couple of things that you wanna do before you uh, start creating your proxies or at least I would recommend doing these things and to start out with we're gonna go up here on your metadata display and right click and click on metadata display once you're in here you're gonna on the search bar type in proxy select the checkbox and hit OK and that's gonna pop this thing out all the way at the end I like bringing it to the front that way I know which proxies are attached and which ones are not Currently saying that it's attached, but it's actually just uh, referencing the, the red file. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to your preferences and go down to media and then click enable proxies. Done. That's all you have to do to set up your Premiere. Once you do that, then we're gonna right click. Let's, let's do these two. We're gonna select both of them and we're gonna right click and then we're gonna click on proxy. Then we're gonna click on create proxies. Once you do that, you're gonna get this little checkbox and you can either put it right next to the original red file or do as I prefer to do is uh, choose my own destination. And I'll tell you guys a reason why I like doing it this way. I'm sure a lot of you guys do the same. Uh, I, I go from different computers uh, at the office, uh, my laptop, and then my home desktop, and it's just a pain, you know, go through folder after folder after folder, uh, trying to reconnect all the missing proxies. So I found it to be a lot easier if in my in my footage uh, folder, I just create a, a folder and call it proxies. And then depending on what kind of proxies I'm creating, so I created a folder just for those and then I'm literally just dumping all of them in there. It just makes it so much easier to relink and reattach the proxies to the, to the red files. So we're gonna select this folder and then we're gonna hit okay. It, you can leave these settings, uh, for the most part they're pretty solid. So we're gonna hit okay. Once you do that, you're gonna get this status bar and after a little while it's gonna open up uh, your media encoder and I actually already had my media encoder running so I'm gonna drag it to this screen so you guys can see. As the clips start loading into encoder, the, uh, the encoder will automatically start working on these proxies for you. So <laughs> if you happen to forget to, to hit play before going off, uh, yeah, you, you, you won't have to worry about that. So we're just gonna let it do its thing for a little while and then we're gonna come back. Well, you know what, actually here, let's do this. I do wanna show you guys the difference. Uh, I'm gonna pull up a, a couple of clips that uh, already have proxies attached to them. Uh, let's see with the red weapon. Currently I have the proxies activated. Here, let me just do the before and after, all right? Disable the proxies back up and I'm gonna hit play. You ready? Yes, this anti-aging skincare line restores youthful vitality and... Yeah, obviously nothing's happening there. But then what happens when I come back here and enable the proxies? Remember this file actually has proxies already created for it, so... Yeah, I'm gonna hit OK. And now, check out the difference. I'm still in full rest. Keep that in mind. Look, still, it's still the original clip. I'm just gonna hit Radiance to your skin reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and reveals your youthful glow. This high. What a difference. Okay, we'll just scrub around. Okay. That's why you want proxies. The very, very last thing. So. Obviously, once you attach proxies to your to your red footage, it's it's not uh, technically 6K footage anymore. It's actually referencing the the, the proxy. Which, if you're gonna export a, a sequence that you're you're referencing proxies, right before you export, make sure you come back up here and go to preferences, go to media, and disable your proxies. That way, you're actually rendering out the full 
you know, 6K or 5K or whatever it is that you wanna wanna output to. So just keep that in mind. And other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Just take into consideration that you, you will have to create some proxies if you're, if you're working with large files like this. Or, you know, if you have a fast enough machine, just, you know, bring down your resolution. But me personally, I like having no lag. It's definitely nice. Look at that. Let's start with Luminous. This anti-aging skincare line restores youthful vitality and radiance. Smooth. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you need anything else. Uh, I'll be more than happy to try to help you guys out. So till next time, take care. Peace.